Hi everybody! This is the first in a series of Stream Elements tutorial videos that I'll be posting here on this channel. My name is Tara Buck. I am a Twitch streamer and a Stream Elements support champion. Today we'll be covering how we get our overlays from the site into OBS Studio so that we can stream. I do want to note that if you're using OBS Classic, it's no longer supported by OBS or Stream Elements, so please update to OBS Studio. I will post a link in the description for you to download. You can see here in OBS Studio that I have the Call of Duty World War II super theme. It's brand new. There is an animated version and a static version. Let's hop on over to the site where you will find that we have the animated super theme here and the static one here. I've added them from the themes gallery. So they're now in my overlays and to get the overlay onto OBS, we need the link to the overlay. We can find that in two different ways. We can either launch the overlay right here and that will open it in a new tab and we'll copy the link and then take it over to OBS. We can also go into the editor for this overlay. This is where you would edit it to however you would like. From this page, we can go down to launch and then click copy right here to copy the overlay link. Now, it's very important that you do not share this with people that you don't trust. The link here contains Twitch and Stream Elements information that is private and you don't want to share that. Once you have your link copied, let's go back to OBS and we will go to the intro static scene. Right click here in sources and add a browser source. Now we can name this to whatever we would like. I will name it uh, start static. Click OK. Here is where you will paste your overlay link that you got from the site. You'll want to change your width to 1920, your height to 1080. That's very important. All Stream Elements overlays are 1920 by 1080 by default. And then right here, check this box for shutdown source when not visible. This ensures that you're only running one overlay. Uh, it will save you from having background overlays running and using CPU and it will also prevent sounds from playing from overlays that are not visible. By checking this box, it ensures that you only have the one that you're broadcasting running. After that, click OK, and the overlay will load. So here's our overlay in OBS Studio. If after your overlay loads, it does not fill your canvas here, all you need to do is press Control F on Windows or Command F on Mac and it will fit the overlay to the canvas. Now you can see this is the static version and this one here is the animated version. The overlays, especially the animated ones with graphics and all that, uh, there's a lot of data here that your plugin needs to load. So they do take a little bit of time to load and in the next video, I will show you how to minimize or eliminate that load time. I really appreciate you watching this video and stick around for uh, additional tutorials to come. Again, my name is Terabuck. You can find me on Twitter at Terabuck TV or in the Stream Elements official Discord, which I will link an invite to in the description. Thanks so much for watching.